Once you're logged on into QuickBooks Online, you can go to the top right hand corner to the gear icon under list recurring transactions. Here we're going to hit new. We're going to start from scratch. And it's important to note that you have different types of transactions that you can uh, set up for a recurring process. However, I'm only going to use invoice in this scenario. Let's give this a template name. I'm going to call it cool cars. And I want this invoice to be created two days in advance from the due date or the invoice date. When you see select your customer, the email address should auto populate. If you hit to print later, it will not send. If you hit to automatically send emails, it'll be sent out as soon as the invoice is created. So here we have a couple options. How often do we want this invoice created? So we have daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. I'm going to select monthly. Here we have uh, more options. So you can select it uh, based on the day or the first Monday, so on, the second Monday, or so on, etc. I'm going to select on the first of every one month. So on the first of every month, starting August 1st. Now it's time to create the invoice. So for this client, let's just assume that I'm billing them on a monthly basis for $1,500. Forgot to mention here that you can set an end date. Um, that's completely up to you. Uh, you can also just pause the recurring and I will show you once we complete this. So we have the template name. This will be created two days before the first of the month and it'll be created on the first of the month every month starting August 1st and this is all the details of the invoice don't forget the terms due on receipt as soon as they receive it it's due 10 days after 15 days after 30 and so on completely up to you if you use tags you can enter a tag here if it needs to be taxed you have all these options are here just know that every time this creates It'll be just as you laid it out here. Hit save template. Now we have cool cars. The transaction type is an invoice every month. Next day is the first for 1500. Now we click here on the drop down. We can duplicate this. We can pause it or we can skip it. Say August 1st is not the first month. It's September 1st. Skip it. If you want to delete it, you no longer have the client or this is over, just hit delete. Completely up to you. Very easy. Any questions, feel free to reach out. Mm -hmm.